that's not very smart. Let's not, let's not do that. Don't need a camera going in the water. What's going on everybody? My name is Maverick. Today, I'm out here on Lake Superior, the largest body of freshwater surface area, largest freshwater body surface area in the world. Don't wanna get called out again on freaking some lake in Russia that's deeper. Technically there's more volume. Anyway, I'm in the Apostle Islands, um, which is like the only island structure in Lake Superior. So right now I'm pretty close to land. I'm gonna do a 15 mile run and I'm gonna camp out on an island tonight. I've got my hammock, I've got a lighter, I've got a jet boil and some hot dogs <laughs> and I'm gonna camp out overnight. So all these islands around here besides the one to my right are uninhibited besides like a couple old coast guard structures where people used to stay and sleep and run the lighthouses. As far as I know there should be no people. Some of these islands are kind of popular to camp on so don't really know if there's gonna be people on them or not but Get in the cockpit, take this boat for a spin. Probably only about four or five miles into our journey. And I'm getting chilly. Let's get this on quick. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this is the island I kind of want to go to. It's a safe bet. I'm um, kind of protected by these other pieces of land. But there's really good fishing at this island way out here. Um, obviously, the island that's way out here has potential of getting wind from this whole lake. So this spot can be pretty dangerous. It's also 15 miles away from this spot. So I've already driven four from the harbor. It's 15 miles away, so that's 22 miles that this island is away from, from the boat launch. So. That's a lot of gas. So I get a lot of questions asking what apps I use. Uh, the app that I use is actually recommended to me by, by, my, by, by my buddy Mike, and it's called Fish Weather. It's blowing six miles an hour here, and it's blowing eight miles an hour out on the big lake by the looks of it. And it looks like it's bl blowing straight west. So it looks like it's gonna stay calm. But man, do I send it all the way out there? With it being so late in the day, being about six o'clock, I don't, woo, I don't really wanna go all the way out there and not be able to fish tonight. Um, if I camp closer, I could potentially go out there in the morning, try to catch some fish and then come back. So I think that's what I'll do. So let's get to our close spot, try to find a campsite and try to catch some fish. Well, we've made it to our spot. So I'm on the north end of the island here. On the other side of the island is where the campgrounds are. So that's where I'd park the boat. There's a lot of other islands out here where I could potentially camp at. I'm gonna putz around quick, see if I can mark some bait fish. I see some bait. Put down a line, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Out here, you're kind of just 
hoping to stumble across something, I guess. Feet there, Rick. 13 feet, really. You want to try again? I'll try a different depth, maybe. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now it's. That's you. And Kazooie. I'm going to throw out my. Uh, Boat slower downers. Went four miles an hour to three and point two. We're aiming to get down to about 2.8. It's the magic number. And there she is. 2.6 even. Nice. For bait today, I am allowed three lines as one guy out here in the state of Wisconsin. I only have two rod holders. All right, so I really don't know what I'm doing out here still. Uh, this is my first season fishing this lake, and it's humongous, so I'm kind of just a little pebble out here, trolling two lines, really not doing anything drastic. People come out here and they troll like nine lines at a time to try to catch fish. Um, I'm just kind of in a high percentage area, hoping that I stumble across something and get lucky. But anyway, what I'm doing today is I'm fishing 128 feet. I've got this line down. It's 110 on the reel counter, so that means it's probably about 80 feet down. And then this line's down at 90 feet, so that probably means it's about 70 feet down. Just kind of get some various depths until I find some fish. Looks like we have a thermocline pretty deep right now at about 95, 96 feet. Which doesn't really do me any good. Um, I marked one school of bait back there, which is good. The scenery here is beautiful. There is not a single person out here. Well, there's a couple sailboats right there anchored up camping. Um, I've camped on this island right here before, I believe, on the docks on my buddy's boat. But this water is so blue, and we're pretty uh, we're pretty isolated out here. Besides the select few, definitely the smallest boat that I've seen out here today. So we got that going for us. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. definitely a fish I was trying to be too cute and grab my head camera and I was trying to you saw me pulling the rod like that I was trying to get the uh, the dipsy diver to like disengage so I could reel that fish in but I might have just pulled that fish off that might have been that might have been my mistake there like I said not very experienced live and learn it's a good sign though Made a, made a choice to go a little shallower and fish start biting. We got about 30 more minutes left and then I'm gonna have to call it for tonight. Marking. Put this on for good measure. Nothing. Oh, 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 oh. Fish? Yep, 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 yep. Isn't it? Man, that sure looked like a fish. Was that a fish? What was that? Buzzer beater right here. We're about done with this pass. Pretty amazing if I caught one right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna have to chalk that one up to a nice loss. It's 
8.30, I actually gave it an extra frick. 20 minutes. As you can tell the sun's going down. I'm gonna have to set up kinda in the twilight hours now, so it's okay. I had good faith that you're gonna get one there. Uh, I should have kept driving, is what I should have been doing. Should not be doing this. Cause these sink, I forget. Oh! Oh, I got a little fish! A little lake trout! Nice! I did catch something. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that rod like a hawk too. I don't know when he would have hit. Well, we got one. Well, that's nothing to brag home to mom about, but I'll take anything today. I'm gonna get him in, on ice quick and bonk him and we're gonna go find our campsite because the sun is going down. I'm getting a little nervous that I'm gonna have to set up in the dark and I really don't want to do that. Into the ice you go, friend. Bye. Everything's in. Okay. The campsite is somewhere down here. I have actually never seen the campsite. It's probably just a dock and then like some camping spots. And honestly, the camping spots aren't open. So you're actually supposed to sleep on your boat because everybody that comes out here, they have like below deck sleeping quarters and whatnot. But there's a nice sandy beach here. At least I think it's sand. If it's, if it's sand, I'm gonna pull up on it and I'm gonna sleep here for the night. But look at that. Look at this sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. Got blessed with a fish. Now all we gotta do is find a spot to just kick, kick back and relax for the rest of the night. All right, what's the deal? Is this all rock? Looks a little rubbly. Is there any parts that are kind of clear? big thing I don't want to do is hit a boulder. Doesn't look like a whole lot of people come up here and do this, so. Looks very sandy on the bottom. Which is good. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, that's a lot of rock. I don't know if I like that, actually. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not really too big of a fan of that. It's like, it's sand, but it's also there's so much rubble on the bottom. I don't really want my boat getting pushed up into that all night. It's gonna leave a it's gonna leave a mark. We'll go check out what the campsite has to offer. Hopefully it has a dock to dock up on. Otherwise this is a good spot to come back to. Wish I had a little more daylight to monkey around with but <laughs> can't really who knows if I would have caught that fish if, that, if I would have done that. You know what I'll do actually? I'm gonna put down the anchor. All right, 12 feet. Oi, oi, oi. I think I might be kicking myself tonight that I didn't bring my mummy bag. Uh, I don't think it's supposed to get that chilly, but I don't think it's supposed to be that warm either. I was gonna, if I was a guessing man, I'd say it's probably gonna be like 60 degrees maybe. And all I've got is this blanket that's probably rated for like 30 degrees. To be completely transparent, I thought tonight that I would spend the night in my hammock because I have a bug net and I thought the bugs are gonna be horrible out here which they very well could be because we're on a lake after all I'm not even gonna say it I I don't think the bugs are gonna be bad so that's why I'm like sleeping out here I just don't want to go in and try to find a tree inside the hammock up so 
I'm whispering that because they can hear me. We're gonna give that a go. Never done this before. Alright, so right now I'm in 12 feet of water. Sandy bottom, looks like the anchor's holding. My log friend. She's just hanging. Hanging out with me tonight, I guess. I'm not really that hungry. I ate like right before I came out here, so I'm not gonna cook that fish up tonight. But I think I'll probably be pretty hungry in the morning, so cook it up then. And uh Yeah, I kinda wanna just get settled down and not be moving around in the dark big lake to be doing that stuff. I do want to reiterate like how important it is to one have a PFD when you're out here by yourself and then also VHF radio so right now I don't have any cell phone service so if I was to get in some trouble I would not be doing so hot but channel number 16 for the Coast Guard and if something did happen I could call in man overboard, um, you know, anything like that. So I will be keeping this next to me tonight. One th nice thing about being on the boat, don't have to worry about wildlife coming and getting me. So that's like, that's also a positive. So yeah, settled in a little more here. I'm, my house is a mess. My house boat, house boat. <laughs> Usually I keep a thermosel on me to keep the mosquitoes away, but for whatever reason, I took that thing out of my car and I don't know what I did with it. And by car, I mean truck. And by truck, I mean the truck that you guys know. Big oops on my, on my part. And also a big mistake that I even mentioned anything about BUGs because I think they did hear me. Sock soda of the day is a dark horse soda, thanks to my buddy Joey. Pretty good, pretty good soda. Yeah, marked a lot of bait today. Had a fish on, maybe two fish on, and then got the one in the box. So that's a good way, good way to end the day. Not really sure what tomorrow's gonna bring. I'll definitely, definitely fish in the morning. But for right now, just enjoying a sock soda. In the middle of Lake Superior. Well, not not exactly the middle, but like I'm on the lake. Within the last couple minutes, I got real wise on you guys and remembered that I, ha I had my bug net for my hammock, so I tried to rig up something here. Looks like a claustrophobic person's nightmare, but I think that honestly might be better than just sleeping out in the wide open with all these mosquitoes around. I don't think this is how bug nets work. I think they're supposed to be like off of your body. I guess it's better than nothing. All right, it's a stupid idea. Well, good idea, bad execution. It's getting dark though, and I'm not getting any smarter. I'm gonna finish up this sock soda and uh, hit the hay for the night. It's kind of fun. It's definitely definitely different from being in the truck. Open air environment out on the lake. Been wanting to do this for a while. I've had it in my head for a while. And uh, finally got a couple days to do it where the wind's laying down. Um, if you guys are liking this video so far or you like the idea, please give this video a like or consider giving it a thumbs up. Smash that like button because it gets this video to other people. And it also lets me know um, what kind of content you guys enjoy on this channel. I know like truck camping is obviously like my my bread and butter, and it's something I love doing. Um, but there's a lot of things that like, I like to kind of diversify with. I don't wanna, I don't wanna just be, you know, having to post videos that are all about truck camping. So if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up, give it a comment. Um, let me know that you're liking it so far. And uh, I'll do more videos like this in the future. Sun's going down, it's about 
9.30, I'm sure. I don't have my phone on me. Left it elsewhere. I'm just going to kind of wake up tomorrow when the sun comes up. Not going to set an alarm or anything. And we'll go from there. Maybe do some fishing. Definitely do some fishing. Not really sure what else I'd do out here. Swimming. It's kind of cold for swimming. Good day. Good day. All right. Good night, everybody. morning oh man you are dirty sorry about that oh not too often you wake up and see that water everywhere that was honestly probably one of the better nights of sleep that I've gotten in a while I had a dream where uh I don't know, there was like a Coast Guard helicopter like literally over top of me and my radio was going off and that I like looked over the side of the boat and there was like Coast Guard people like doing training and like a lady was in a scuba mask and I like got freaked out and then all of a sudden there was like just a sea of Coast Guard people all training and like just going right past the boat and going up onto the beach. It's really weird. Yeah, that's, that's what I dream about. What time is it? 7.05, baby. Got to sleep in today. All right, well, I'm gonna clean the boat up, and then I think I'm gonna go in on shore and cook up some breakfast, and by breakfast, I mean that trout, because I'm hungry. All right, folks, so we got some good coals going now, so it's about time to start getting our fish prepped. Got this nice cutting board that was actually sent to me by a subscriber. I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was right now, but uh, I'll put their name right here. Getting use out of it for the first time. Nice little, nice little cutting board set here. So I'm gonna be cooking this fish whole. And usually when I cook my fish whole, I like to score the side, so that just means I'm gonna make some slashes in it, just so it cooks the meat. A little more evenly and also lets some of the flavors that I'm gonna put on it in. Oh, Sandy Mandy. I'm just gonna forget about the cutting board for right now. I don't want too big of a crunch, at least from sand, when I'm eating my fish. I don't know about you guys, but that's not really my thing. So of course you want to do some salt and pepper. Be careful not to 
splash any sand on this thing. And I'm gonna try a new recipe today that I haven't tried before. My buddy Ace has done it. But it's called buffalo trout. Just gonna shave some butter off, try to get it inside those scores that I made. I'm not gonna put too much butter on right now because it's gonna leak out and cause flames to come higher and ultimately char my fish, which isn't really a bad thing, but I don't wanna burn the fish too bad. And then I've got some Louisiana hot sauce here that I'm just gonna carefully douse on them. If I had a bag or something that wasn't full of sand, I would, uh, I would toss them around in that a bit, but my bag is full of sand. And do the other side. Now I will attempt to shut this thing. Yeah, he's almost too big for it. But not quite. There we go. Nice. Usually I have like a rock or something to set this thing on, but I don't. So I guess a log will have to do. It's kind of a lot of flames right now. Maybe I should knock those down first. This thing's starting on fire. That's looking good. Oh, an eagle. All right. Let's just. Okay. That's done. Yeah, that's done. Mmm. Buffalo trout. Mmm. Lake trout is so good. And as I say, and every time I do it, everything always tastes better over a campfire. Mmm. Look at it, just peeling right off the bone. What a way to wake up. Oh. It's a swift 68 degrees out here. All I gotta say is thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And as always, until next time, my name's Maverick and you already know the drill. Keep on trucking, baby. <laughs>